Yay, what is going on YouTube? It's a man well from Digital Pencils. So guys, I'm excited that you um want to learn how to create this amazing bubble salon flyer. So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how I made this beautiful bubble salon flyer. Okay, so as always, I'm going I will leave a link to the images that I use in the description below. So let's just um get started with this. I'll go to file, I'll go to new and um, I'll just create a new document inches the width will be 4 and the height will be 4 okay so 4x4 four four is a standard size for a social media flyer let's say we want to use this for Facebook, for WhatsApp for any social media at all 4x4 four four is a standard size so I'll just click on create and um, I'll just go to where I have my resources and I'll take the background the one reason for the background and I'll just drop it here mm, I'll hold an out and I'll make it big like this okay I'll make it this big and I'll just take it like this mm -hmm. so I think this is okay and what I want to do next is this I just want to add some um, dark effects on this image because I don't want it to be too bright as it is right now so what I will do is I will just go to my rectangle tool and I'll leave the fill to be set to um, black and I'll just draw a rectangle over this image like this okay all right so I'll right click on the rectangle and I'll click on rasterize okay so I'll drop the opacity because I still want this image to be showing the one there but I just want it to be a bit dark so that is why I added that black rectangle so I'll just leave it like about like this so if I take out this rectangle you'll see it's too bright okay so that's the reason why I added that rectangle all right so um, what I'll do next is this I will add another rectangle over here like this just click and drag okay and um, I will repeat the same procedure I will rasterize this rasterize and I will bring in this image this one bring and drop it in the Photoshop so what I want to do is I want to create a clipping mask. What a clipping mask is is, is um, let me just do it so you see. Right click on this image. Make sure that the image is above the second rectangle. Right click above it and click on create clipping mask. Okay. And this is what happens. Photoshop embedded the image inside of the rectangle. So what we're going to do is this, we're just going to reduce the opacity of this, of this image here, because we still want it to be a bit dark, we'll just reduce the opacity to about, um, to about 20-20%, okay. So I'll come down to this rectangle and I'll create a layer mask, this is what is called a layer mask, and I'll go to my brush tool here click on the brush and I'll increase the size a bit um, let's say to about one, 152 pixels okay so my opacity is set let me set my opacity to 50 50 okay and um, now make sure that your foreground color is set to black and your background color is set to white okay so I'll tell you what that does so if I just click over this edge here you see it's erasing it the idea is because I don't just want this sharp edge I just want it to be kind of smooth so that's why I'm cleaning over it I'm erasing over it rather so I'll just erase 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 I'm taking out the sharp edges I'll erase 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 all of this place all of this place and it's gone see the sharp edges are gone okay 
all right so i'm going to drop the opacity of this image i'll still drop it to around 15 all right cool i think it's, this is okay so what i'll do next is um i will create three circles like this i just click and drag i'm holding down um shift and alt and i'll leave it all right i'll just give it an outline of white and i'll increase increase to let's just make it 12 i increased to about 12 and yeah that's okay i'll bring it here and now um, what i'll do is i'll just press ctrl j to duplicate this shape ctrl j ctrl j because i want like three copies oh okay i press ctrl j once okay to duplicate it once so if you look on my layers panel i just have one copy okay I'll drag this over here and i'll press ctrl t and i'll hold an alt and i'll resize it like alt and shift okay so hold down two and i'll just adjust this here like this uh, like this okay so we want to resize this one i'll just click on this image ctrl c and i'll resize it a bit holding down ctrl mm, shift and alt all right so I'll just go into my images, my resources section and um, which one did I use first? Okay, I'll bring this one, this guy. Just place it right above the ellipse, the rectangle right above the first one and resize it. So what you do next is this, what we're going to do next is this. just right click on the image and click on create clipper marks. We did it before to um, embed the image in the shape. Ctrl C, and we still resize it a bit. Like this. Let's still resize it a bit. Okay, this is enough. And we're gonna take this one, this one above. We're gonna take it up. Okay. Like this. So I'll bring in the next image, which is this young man over here, and I'll drag it into the canvas. And Ctrl C, hold down Alt, okay, and um, I'll just create a clipping mask. Press Ctrl C again to like resize it inside of the shape. So I'll just make the ellipse smaller because um you've seen some some spaces over here and we don't want that. So I'll press Ctrl C. Now yep, make it this this small. So I'm just gonna adjust the image inside. Okay. Um we have to create another ellipse. We have to create another ellipse. So we'll just go to our ellipse tool here. Okay, I'll just draw an ellipse. We'll leave the we'll leave the fill, we'll just set the outline to white. And 12 pixels. Okay. So we are gonna take this one up over here. Like this. And we're going to bring in the last image. That we'll be using, which is um this one. Now we drop it on the canvas, we resize it, take it to the circle there, I right click over it and create a clipping mask like that. Okay, so press Ctrl C to still resize it inside of the circle. All right, so that is it. So um, this is a made-up logo. The logo I'm using for this design, 
I just downloaded this from Google. So we'll bring in this. And I will just resize it. Drag it over here. Um, I'll take a ruler and I'm just gonna place it here because I want all my text and everything I'll be using not to cross this line. That is the reason why I place this ruler over here. So I'm gonna take this logo here and I'll just drop it here like this. I'll make it a bit smaller. Okay, so I'll be using a font called Army of Darkness. Okay, you can download it from, I'll leave the link to the font in the description below. You can check it and download it. So I'm just gonna type in um, Papa Saloon. Papa Saloon. Yep. Okay, take it here. Papa Saloon. Come to my type tool. A character panel. I'll just increase the size. Okay, this is okay. All right. So I'm just gonna check the text that I wrote here. Okay, classic saloon. So we sh should write that also. Classic. Salon. All right, so I'm just gonna adjust it. And now, uh, I'll reduce the size a bit. I'll just um, click on the two and what I'll do is I'll just align them, okay? All right, that's it. So let's group all of this together. Let's group all these images together. So it will be easy for us to um, work with them. Click on the first image, this one, and hold down shift and click on, on the last image. This one here. Hold down shift and click on it and just press Ctrl G to group them. And we're gonna call this group background okay we're gonna call it background and we'll group this also ctrl g and we'll call it logo okay so um next so why did we group that it will be easy for us to like move things around in a group like let's say we want to move this logo we can just ctrl c and move all of it together okay instead of moving it individually so i'm just gonna go here where i have my ellipse tool right click over it and you see your custom shape tools click on it it should take it away have lots of shapes i'll just take this one this shape here this arrow i'll draw an arrow here like this so we are just um, typing the services that we offer in our Robin Salon. Click over this and rasterize it. Okay. So we're just going to take our type tool here and I'll just type services. The services that we offer in our salon. And I'll go to my character panel, I'll make it bold. Okay, like that. I'll increase the font size a bit. Okay, so about this. This is okay. So I'll bring this down. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep writing the services that we offer. Let's say we we offer barbing. We bob. 
Bobbin. All right. Okay, Bobbin. So I will take this closer to the arrow, like the like that. I'll hold down control and I'll click on the shape. Okay. Okay, please pay attention to this. I'll hold an alt. I want to um duplicate this, alright? So what I did first was I clicked on the first shape, which is this one, and I'll click on the test. And then I hold an alt. Now you see the cursor will change to two arrows, and then I can drag this down. Alt and shift. I drag it once and I drag it twice. Alright. So what I'll just do is um, I'll just click on the text to change it. Dying. Dreads. Dreads. And shaving. Okay, so these are the services that we offer. And I'll just click over them to remove the board from them. I don't want them to be bold. Okay, I click on the dying, I remove this board. It's kind of like Microsoft Word, so if you've ever used Microsoft Word, then you should be able to follow along. I'll click on the dreads, I'll remove the text. I'll click on the shaving and I'll remove the board. Okay, so that is it guys. That is how we just easily created this beautiful Bobbin Salon flyer. So you can just add um, extra text if you want. Um, let's say you want to add a location. Um, I'll just type virtual location. And I'll add another text. Okay. Um, what else do you want to add? Your phone number. Um, I don't to trade for five Okay, you just add your phone number there and that is it guys so thank you so much for watching this tutorial i believe you enjoyed it as much as i did i would like to hear your thoughts so leave your comments in the comment section below so thank you so much for watching this video guys um i believe you leave a like and you drop a comment so see you in the next video